Right, yes. Yeah, let's, let's kick it off. So what is the what's the song, the Dragon Force song with time in the name? Above the Winter Moon. <laughs> That's not what <laughs> that one was. I'm sure that was called something of our time. Warriors of our time? Heroes of our time. Heroes of our time, that's the one. Anyway, here we are at Lavenham Bridge for a Ghost Ops, Ghost Ops episode. First Ghost Ops, First almost one. a Ghost Ops trial to do. Yeah, we come to Lavenham Bridge um, where I believe there's a legend that a, it was an old railway bridge and you say people died, not necessarily on this stretch, but along building the railway. Yeah. Building it. Well, no, no, that's more to do with uh, Sudbury. Right. Sudbury where, Railway is where people died, but there is a, a sort of a legend. I don't know if it's actually documented this woman commits suicide on this I've, bit. I've heard stories, it could again be an urban legend, but apparently a woman hung herself or threw herself in front of a train on this bridge and supposedly she's supposed to haunt here. We've also got pillboxes over there, so it's people have been around mm. in this area since uh, war time. I have heard that, again, stories where the pillboxes are that apparently it's a car coming down here. Yeah. <laughs> ready for some mega strobe lighting. Yeah. But I've heard that there's been people that have seen balls of light floating across the field around where the pillboxes are. Yeah, so this is um, the thing you didn't tell me about before. Well you were you telling me about? Yeah, was... you know, I did come here once before actually and, and was sort of having a look at where the pillboxes are. And the concrete they're made out of have almost got like bits of stone in that almost like granite. Yeah, which reflects light. And we came on a moonlit night. Mm. And when you moved around the pillboxes, if you weren't focused like out of the corner of your eye, it would flicker a bit. What's this? Where's the story come from? Then is it? I think it's just local people or whatever. Local people thought they saw lights going across the fields. Yeah, yeah balls of light floating across or around the pillboxes. But I mean, it could be that. It could be something there. We don't know yet. Well, if it, if they're thinking it's balls of light then if it's the gr the granite that's reflecting it'll be in it was a speckle parts. yeah but again is the fish this big they caught or was it that big yeah this is the problem the entrance to the footpath is just out of my window <clears throat> so yeah let's get we'll, cracking yeah let's go and have a look here we are so we just got out the car um i'm gonna take a walk down the footpath can you see the rain on that well, yeah. not really rain. It's sort of. It's sort of a bit. It's bit... very fine. It's enough to ruin your evening. <laughs> he heavy drizzle. Heavy drizzle. It's. Does it still count as a footpath if, if it's at night? Does it count? <laughs> Does it count as a footpath if it's at night? Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Because it kind of feels like queer, like trespassing, but it's a footpath. So. Well, yeah, it's a footpath. Is that the bridge there? I honestly don't know. I can see a bridge up there. Do you want to go in front? Because I'm probably blocking out all the light. So it's literally just from the lay-by down here, and I'm assuming that's that's the train tracks. That's where the train tracks would have run down down the side of that hill. It's definitely got a lot colder since the last few days. Yeah. It's 24 degrees yesterday. Now it's. So it's usually, the, usually at this time of year. Cap of that. <laughs> usually at this time of year, I'm wearing long johns, but <laughs> I didn't today, and I'm regretting it. Here we are, this is the bridge. This is the bridge, yeah. So, it's, it sounds kind of morbid, but there's definitely enough fight off that if you want to hang yourself. Yeah, well even if, even if it was the case of the legend that she jumped in front of a train. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the two, I, the hanging What, people one. say she jumped in front of a train? I can't remember, I'm pretty sure it's hanging, but I think there is another legend, which makes me think it maybe is a legend. Yeah. That she jumped in front of a train. Yeah, this is where the track would have actually run. But, like, with all, um, with all bridges, can't you tell already, the, the way the sound's reverberating around is... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's suspicious. It echoes everything. I think there's been so many people being completely on there. I mean, Ben, if we turned the light off, it would be a very spooky environment. Yeah, especially with the way the sound travels. So maybe that's where sort of the legends came from. Where did you hear that um, she jumped it up in front of a train? I can't remember. I don't know if that was talking to someone or reading it. I can't, honestly can't remember. Because if it's that she jumped in front of a train, it could be anywhere along this stretch. Well, no, from the bridge, I think, was, was the story. Oh, okay. Like, like I said, it was a while ago I looked into the whole legend and haunting about this place, so... If we walk that way a bit, we head more towards the church. Yeah. 
Oh, these are these bits as well. There's so much graffiti up there. It's everywhere. This, yeah, it does seem to <laughs> graffiti bridge. Well, this bridge is quite far from... Well, it's not miles, but I mean, like, it's not um, in the middle of a highly populated area. This is sort of on the outskirts of yeah. the Yeah. Place but anyway. to be fair, if there's any youths that want to linger, it's an ideal place. But I mean, this seems like excessive. <laughs> there, yeah, there is a fair bit of graffiti. Even from now, if you listen, there's that, that like dripping sound over there. Yeah. Just sort of creepy. Yeah, it is a spooky place, to be honest. But I don't, I mean, I don't think there's nothing. I don't know what the chances are of us actually having anything happening. But there's, if there's <laughs> legends about things happening, then we yeah, might oh, it's, it's it's spooky, but I wouldn't say it feels haunted. I think the rain sound is making it creepy. Yeah. Although, like even saying that, like how dark it is underneath here, it's just pitch black. It's strange. You know, you know when we've gone to locations and you sort of get a little bit of that eerie feeling? Yeah. I don't know if maybe it's because it's just so dark, but it, I have got that a little bit. Oh, it's not like, there's not even street lights on the roads around here, it's pitch yeah. black everywhere. But I mean, we've been to places before where it's... <laughs> they go to places that's supposed to be haunted and you don't get any feeling. Yeah. But uh, there's something a little bit strange about this, but I just think it is because it's so... It's a weird so structure, isn't it? <laughs> There's not even a moon, no moon outside or anything as well. No. Not since I pulled my trousers up. <laughs> I can already feel it's going to be getting to the point where your sort of eyes are playing tricks on you. Yeah. I mean, even just looking down there. Just... But I think forests or woods always are like that. Yeah of all the shapes and stuff. The best way I've found to like cope with walking through woods and stuff at night is to just imagine it, well, it pretty much is the same as it would be in the day. Yeah, I like to whistle Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> it is eerie, man. Yeah. Should we go back to the bridge and have a little... Um, I'm thinking this probably just carries on down to... Yeah, I'd imagine. Footpath. Do you want, the bridge is like the main spot. Do you want I to think we'll right, try that and then, and then the pillboxes. Yes, yes. Whoa. That's not that, is it? Yeah. I thought I had a pig. No, <laughs> over there. Also, even if you, you can see from the sound, like the way that the sound's um, bouncing off here, you've got to imagine if there was some like high energy event and if stone tape theory is what, what it says it is, then it would kind of absorb it. Yeah, all, all echo. Yeah, As it yeah, yeah, echo around. So we just put the night vision cameras on. That's our only light at the moment. So I think it's time to turn it off. Are we going dark? <laughs> We're going pitch black. And we are now in pitch black. Just trying to get its focus. What's that? Thanks, man. Yeah. Oh. Wait, is that the sound? What? I just had this spike. On. Um, on K2. Oh! Oh! That's not doing it from that. Is there someone around us at the moment? <gasps> Whoa. Are you the lady that's supposedly killed herself on this bridge. <laughs> Just to explain, I was doing that noise because I thought maybe the um, reverb coming off yeah. the, the bridge had done that. Well, I'm going to get... That was weird. A, I'll get the trifold meter out. I had a bit of a weird feeling thinking that we're underneath this bridge and all the way down that way and all the way down that way is just pitch black. Yeah. 
And so it, it weirdly feels safe at this point because you've got the two walls either side. Well, it's like protection, I suppose. And it? then this side going on. Can you interact with any of our, of our equipment? If there's somebody here, please. Or can you come around us? I'm going to say no, I definitely think that was uh, more anomaly than... Yeah, yeah, that's strange, but... Well, I mean, as in, if that had done that... Oh, there whoa. It's going again. Okay, well, I was going to say if that had done the sort of pattern it did before, then did it again, it would po point more towards it being a... Um, Electrical thing or something. Yeah. But, then, but then this is a bridge out in the middle of nowhere. I don't, I don't know if there's any pylons or anything nearby. It's the only thing. We can have a look when we get near the pillboxes, yeah. but I'm pretty sure there's. Oh, we've got. I'm trying to see if we can get anything on the tri field to see. Yeah. Like match them up. I might even place this on the floor just so it's not. It's definitely not. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Like I think that's rubbing it. But even that, look. Yeah. That's not setting off any. Well, if we place them down... Uh, we put them there. Is that on? Yeah, so... Is that you should do that? Yeah. What's that, what that's doing now is measuring electric fields and magnetic fields. Okay. So what would be nice if we could get both of them to spike at the same time. Yeah. The uh, K2, that's not triggered by sound, is it? No. Vibration sometimes. Is the trifle going on? No. Nah. It's just settling down. <laughs> it's a, a beetle. You see the beam? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, if you want to look at them, I'm just going to sort of pan around where we are. Because since we went to black, I'm not actually sure where I am <laughs> underneath the tunnel. Oh, all right, I'm right near the wall. You're in Lavenham. How close am I to the wall? Okay. Again, we're in pitch black now. Navigating is a bit tricky. Even on the um, night vision, that's pitch black down there. Is there somebody here with Whoa. us? What? Oh man, the camera went out of focus. Don't look like that might have been like an orb sort of thing. Let's try and get this back in focus. But I, I can't tell if that was just um, infrared reflecting off a, a bug. It might have been. We'll have to have a look. You can tell when we'd have yeah. a look back. Is there anybody under or on this bridge with us? Do you think you'd be able to come down and communicate with us somehow? Well, if you could go near the little light on the floor. Rain sounds spooky, man. Yeah. Behind you. Yeah, even the wind in the trees sort of just gives off an eerie... Yeah. Oh! K2. Nothing on the tri field, though. I think that's something natural. I don't think that's anything... Well... I mean, I mean like, what naturally would that be picking up? True. It's odd. It is strange, but I, I'd have thought. So yeah, I, would, I would try and tie it more to something man-made, like phone lines or something, or um, electrical wires. Yeah. But we're this bridge is outside of. You know, it's it's not like it's next door to a, an office or something. No, no, it's, it is in the middle of nowhere, but I, it seems too regular to be. But I, so I, I don't think it is regular enough. Because, do you see when it was going up to red? Mm. If you are here, can you do what you were doing to make those lights come on, the device we've placed on the floor? 
Do whatever you did before. I think it's the rain. It keeps sort of. Did you just do that up. again? Did it light up? It is odd. It seemed to be spiking a lot more when I was holding it. I was wondering if that yeah. was me um, because I was holding it. Yeah, mind you, it, it has enough time on the floor now to know that it's, there's something triggering it. I'm going to get an EVP. Do you, th do you think it could be even, say there's like a, a spirit or an energy around us, if I'm holding it, then it would be managing to sort of manifest through me into the device? Possibly. I can antenna? Because like I said, I was standing here and I suddenly yeah, felt Yeah, but it's weird gone chills. off on the floor though, isn't it? Hmm? It's gone off on the floor. I mean, maybe pick it up and have a... So this is the thing, because I want to... I kind of want to hold it. Which in itself is kind of weird, because I wouldn't usually really want to do that. Yeah. But I feel like an urge, like I want to hold it. Cause pick it's it gonna, up. But I don't want to contaminate it. Is it's it? really weird. Yeah, yeah. Why do I want to hold it? Is it easier for you to interact with us if James is holding the device? Would you like to communicate with James? I could feel my heart like beating in the centre of my hand. Oh my god. Is it easier to... to make the lights turn on if I'm holding this? It stopped. Like the, the beating in my hand. That was really weird. Like, um, it's like feeling your pulse, but it's yeah, sort of, yeah. um, like right at the base of my fingers. And again, just to test, like if I do this, like that's not lighting up from it, because I was thinking maybe it's vibrations yeah, from my yeah. hand. But nothing like that is causing that to go off. Are you around James at the moment? Do you think we'd be able to hear your voice? What was that? I heard moving behind you. Where's the trifle? I don't want to try it. Is that, is that, that easy? Do you think we'd be able to hear your voice? What's that tapping? Must be the rain. Yeah. Do you think we'll be able to hear your voice? No, sound, sound matrix, matrix anything. I think. I mean, I don't like the way the sound echoes. Yeah. Because that's a bit weird. But, um, it's back on the floor. As for any sort of supernatural feelings, I'm not getting what I normally get. That sort of weird chill feeling I had before is actually gone. Yeah. I haven't even felt the like um like pulse in my hands sort or of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I must say I'm not I'm not getting anything nothing here. I mean you can see if people came here at night you could see where legends of stuff like that were. Oh yeah, just standing up. here. If I just look towards you, yeah. I've got what sounds like people walking up on left and right side. Yeah. And I mean, people obviously so the, do come To the in. point where I kind of want to look. <laughs> well, people have been coming here for years, you can tell from the graffiti, so yeah. it's, that's perfect for a legend to spring up. All it takes is for one person to say, did you hear about the haunted bridge? But I mean, those EMF readings are strange. Yeah. But they're not paranormal. But as it far just showed there's see. EMF here. Yeah, yeah, there's something here. It doesn't, doesn't mean anything at the moment. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's paranormal, but it is a bit strange that the actual... Um, the electromagnetic frequencies are yeah. appearing here.